Hey everybody, it's been a little while since I have done a regular video, uh, you know, in a, aside from a Musty Wargamer stream with the guys, and so I thought I would do just a bit of an update on what I've painted recently. Some of you that are on the Musty Wargamer's Facebook page have seen some of this stuff, but I'm going to be showing what's coming up next and just uh, talking about some future models and stuff. I've been, um, gaming-wise, I've been playing consistently a fair bit of Old World, um, and so that's kind of what I've been doing at the moment, the Warmer Fantasy Old World, and um, that'll probably continue for the, the, the future. Um, it took me a really long time, but um, I hope you appreciate the turnaround. I, when I did my Savage Works video not that long ago, I noticed that um, my hobby light that I have here is really great for hobbying, but it really washes out everything. Um, so you can almost, it's really hard to see any sort of um, highlighting and shading appropriately. Uh, everything looks really bright in most cases, even um, when, when I, under this kind of harsh lighting. Um, so I'm hoping that the turnaround that I did in the, my, viewing booth kind of show them a little bit better because um, I do find that um, with poor lighting like it really doesn't matter like at this at that point in trying to 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 see something for what it is um, in any case uh, I got these guys funny thing is um, I had a little I have a little turnaround as you saw the table and I've had it for years and I've had the same like D battery, like large battery in it for years. And when putting the black works on there, the battery basically failed. And then even when putting a new one in, I can hear it sort of straining, which is weird because it kind of speaks to just how much, how heavy these guys are, the metal ones. Even just 10 of them on there um, was really pressuring my turnaround table that I have, which is strange. Because um, I've actually had more at times of like the Savage Orcs and stuff. But uh, I guess it just like kind of I just was thinking how funny it was is just to how like the black orcs are just the baddest of the bad they even make my my turnaround my turnaround table painting table can't even handle them um so these took me a while to do um I don't know I mean I actually like the models on these guys but um I think they're really cool one of the things that um I I, I guess I there's very little green on them, right? So when you're painting orcs, if you like to paint green, like, you know, you, this is like an example where you don't get much. Like, they don't show, they're mostly armored, right? And with their, you don't even have a leader that has, like, the, the head that you can paint. So if you like painting the orcs, you know, like, um, these guys are, you're, you're painting almost like a different thing. Like, it, it's kind of weird. But I went with, like, um, so I don't think the bad moons are actually in Warhammer Fantasy. Like I think they're more of a, a 40k thing. When somebody can, maybe somebody can correct me. I, I know there's some folks that um, know a lot about works that watch the channel, works and goblins. I um, used the bad moons when I first did 40k and Rogue Trader. They were my um, faction, the bad moons orcs, and um, I, as a throwback to that, when I was really thinking about painting these and needing to choose some color schemes for orcs other than savages. It made sense to me to go with the yellow. Now, one, it kind of goes a little bit with the way I've painted my savages, but two, it kind of is what I would choose just because that's what I had done in the past is like the, the bad moves for 40K. So these are like kind of like uh, going back to that a little bit for me. I am happy. I didn't know really how I was going to do it. I, I basically made the command have a bit more yellow um, to break up black works just being only black. Um, and so musician as well. But then for guys, like for many of the, like the, the, the regular guys, there's really no yellow. There's just black works, like, you know, and then some of them that had like a skull on the shoulder pad when I had to choose something on how to paint it, I just went with yellow, um, just to match the theme of the army. So I thought that was cool. That was the way I chose to do it. And um, I'm really surprised at how long it took me. I know part of it is just me, like, you know, just being lazy and just not painting. But for whatever reason, it took me a lot longer. I'd never painted them before, or maybe that was part of it too, but it just took me a lot longer than um, it did for my savages uh, for the same amount. Um, so I don't know. Um, that, so I'm a little gun shy, like I need to start another 10 and what I'm going to do, I might as well talk about it now. This was the box that I, I had in, um, for my Black Orcs. I have this box, which is sealed, 
This is my last box of metal ones just like these, because I have the great weapons guys that hold one great weapon that are the same model style. And I also have plastic ones that are more like these that I can use as fillers too. I think what I'm going to do next, this is sealed, is I'm going to unseal this and open this up and take a look at it uh, in another video. And then this will be something that I'm going to be doing in the near future, adding to getting my, my black orcs up to 20, which should be, that's kind of respectable for old world game. I mean, like, you can do whatever you want, but like, um, you know, 20, I think, for infantry in old world is, and these guys are heavy infantry, I guess, but that that's actually a respectable number to get to field. Um, as a matter of fact, I mean, even just throwing 10 initially just to do what Black Works do to keep everybody in check and still be able to, to put out a little bit of a beating is probably not a bad idea. Um, but that's kind of what's going to happen. I'm not going to be doing those right away. I almost feel like I just want to do something different um, than Black Works for a second, even though all I did was 10. I'm kind of a wimp in that regard, um, feeling like it's so. This um, model... I already, already fielded now, and I I'm, I'm also showed this on the Musty War Gamers. This is the Gorgon. Uh, a friend of mine gave this to me, only partially painted. It was still ma mainly primer and like dry brushed and stuff. I basically um, just tried to update this just to make it look just a bit more painted. And I'm happy the way, with the way it came out. It was a quick paint job, I will admit. Like, Whenever I'm given something and I'm painting over it, it's pretty rare that I've ever done that. Usually I'm always painting my own stuff from scratch or stripping it and then starting from scratch. Um, so painting over stuff and working with something that's already been started is pretty rare. I'm happy given that, that how it's come out. Um, you know, I think it looks good. Um, and uh, yeah, basically um, that's my Gorgon. Now I have another one of these. Since being given this for free, one came up very cheaply that it was unassembled in a box. It was not sealed in plastic, but it was basically that's the only thing that it was just the plastic wrap was taken off. Everything else was just brand new. I'm going to try to to build one of these in the future that is um, a combination of the Sigor and the Gorgon. Now, I haven't looked at the kit enough to know that I can do this, but the Sigor basically has two arms with a big rock over his head, a head with like a single Cyclops type eye. It's just a little bit different, but it's the same model overall. I'm going to try to do it where I can have the rock going over his head and the extra set of arms if I can. And so I can use it for both. He's going to be like a Cygorgon. Um, I'm going to use the Sigor head but just have the extra arms and still call them, a, like in some games I'll use them as a Gorgon, in some games I'll use them as a Sigor, but I'm going to paint him up like a Zinch um, type beast. So he's going to be kind of like bluish and look like he's basically a Zinch beast. And so that's what I was going to do for that. Um, so I, I think I already showed this, but yeah, like, so these are coming up in, in the, the near future, but what really the order is going to be, I think, in the next little bit is I have some unfinished business. So I have um, these two guys as savages um, that I need to paint up. And so a boss and a shaman. And so they're going to be worked on next. Like, that's my next thing. I have Grimgore as like a black orc kind of boss. And then I also have a 3D printed model that I printed. And I'm, I'm interested in what you guys think on this. Like, I've noticed a lot of folks, because it's um, old world, like you have players of all kinds, you know, for Warhammer Fantasy coming in. And a lot of folks are using at times Age of Sigmar models, like orcs, you know, Oryx, like as an orc boss and things like that. This guy, I've actually shrunk. He may look really big. He's on the appropriate base for old world, 30 millimeter. This, this guy comes on a 25, so I'd have to... Look, I think he should either be 25 or 30, but I can put him in an insert. So th these are essentially, essentially like the same kind of model. And like the, he, they're both meant to be black orc war bosses. And what I thought I would do is just um, paint this guy up as like my orc war boss for like me mega mega size game so like if i'm ever in like a 3000 point game and i'm using like a ton or you know even if i just want to just uh, once in a while use him but he he's sort of going to be the biggest boss that i have on foot you know um for um my orc and goblins army and so it's he he is actually probably smaller than an age of sigmar um oric i'm guessing at least around that size he came 
probably this tall, like you, like, you know, when you print, but because orcs do grow, like as they get older and tougher and this and that, um, I kind of thought him being my mega warlord orc boss would be cool. So I was going to paint him up, um, basically paint these guys up as black orcs, like same kind of color pattern as I did before. Um, I am dipping in and out of, even though um, my focus is working goblins for the near future for painting, I am still dipping out of completing my beastmen. And one of the things that I've, I've had this guy for a really long time, but I've never really had minotaur or minotaur uh, focused lists for my beastmen. And I have a lot of minotaur, but, and, and this guy, for many, the Doom Bowl is considered a just pure beast on the battlefield. Like, has a really, really good leader for the Beastmen and gives you options for more Minotaur as core. And so, I thought, you know, it would really, for bang for the buck, I mean, um, being able to play differently in Beastmen games and stuff, like, I need to get this guy painted so I can actually, because I'm, I'm primarily playing Beastmen right now, who, you know, Going through the ages, I suspect will always be my favorite army, no matter what um, I end up doing, because I do have high elves for the future, and in addition to these orcs and goblins, and I have some warriors of chaos too um, to work on. Um, but beast men are probably always going to be like my 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 main uh, Warhammer Fantasy army, and so I thought um, I need to get this guy done, um, and so. I'm going to work on him alongside these four, and that, that's really what I'm going to be doing next, is just these these sort of four um, models there, or five models. And then, uh, so I've mentioned a number of things. I'm thinking these five models, and then I'm really eyeing my um, Arachnorok Spider kit. Um, and so I'm thinking it's going to be these five models, the Arachnorok Spider kit, and then possibly um, just hitting Blackworks after that. That's that's kind of like the order of operations that I'm looking at doing. So, um, yeah, that's about it for me. Playing lots of Old World, like I said. And um, we have a little bit of a surprise announcement for September for the Musty War Gamers um, that um, I'm, we're looking forward to announcing just for, just for fun for the, the Musty community. Um, and... Um, yeah, looking. For, I hope everybody's enjoying their summer. Hopefully, I'll get another update video besides like a musty show. Um, you know, bef soon, uh, maybe with progress of this stuff. So, hope everybody's doing well, and talk to you later.